Hello and welcome to Earth Star Talk, your spirit connection. Today we dive into the mysteries of a machine and the spirit world working together as one. And the co-founders of um, Focus Life Force Energy, actually the founders, co-founders together, are Jeff Stegman and Clayton Stedman. Hello, you both. Please introduce yourself briefly of who you are and your intentions with this wonderful technology. I'm Jeffrey Stegman. And uh, yeah, I've been in um, I've been in this world for quite a while. FLFE or Focus Life Force Energy, we've been operating for 10 years now. But but uh, we are also doing business as a spiritual path. And that's been my really life work through many different businesses. And with Focus Life Force Energy, our mission is to support the optimal conditions for the evolution of consciousness. So this environment is, is for our evolution. Sounds wonderful. And Clayton, how about you? Clayton Stedman. Um... Most of my career, I've been in education, training, and coaching. I had a private coaching practice for 25 years that I transitioned out of as I have transi transitioned into FLFE. A lot of my focus in the company is, um, is kinesiology, using that um, to do research and development on integrating uh, different technologies into the FLFE uh, system we call it, uh, helping with the measurement of uh, programs and the measurement of the principles of what Jeff described as business as a spiritual path, and that's uh, that's my primarily that's my primary role at the company. Sounds good. And um, as you talk about kinesiology. How do you test? Do you test with an arm? Do you use a machine? How do you test? Well, we have a group of testers. I'll start off, Jeff, and hand it back to you. So, so for example, every 99% uh, of days, we test all the new properties that come on the service or all the new objects. And we have a group of testers, and we do primarily self-testing, and we verify each other's um calibrations so for testing like we we guarantee the property will be at the level of consciousness that it is on the consciousness slider that's in your control panel once you do the free trial and we and we test that your property is on and it's working you have access to a control panel so you can slide the level of consciousness up and down you can turn the emf mitigation on and off you can do a bunch of things in the control panel and we test that that's all working we do that every day and once a week, we test all the properties. So we have a group of testers. We have a preformed inquiry that's highly refined. And then we'll do batch testing. So batch testing is when uh, we all do testing. And in that testing, we test each other. And if we're, if we're off more than like, maybe there's a 10 point variance in our testing, which is understandable, just given that humans have a, a body we're working through then we you know, we dig in and find out what's going on. So we have a group of testers. We have a predetermined declarative statement that we refine between Jeff and I. And then we do batch testing. We have lots of quality control. But primarily, I just wanted to say that sounds amazing. That sounds like a lot of work, a lot of people involved. Oh, yeah. So a lot of people have the prejudice. Oh, they're just making so much money by putting on a machine and then sending out some frequency because... Um, that's what you do more or less, having a machine and it uses a certain frequency to project it onto, you mentioned it already, a property or a object or a phone or certain other new targets, which we come mm -hmm. about later. Mm -hmm. um, so there is obviously way more involved. And you did also some... Um, research or took on the research of Dr. Harkins. And I saw you are also um, familiar with Dr. Schwartz, two scientists who definitely connected 
frequency levels and technologies and brought that together. Obviously, the same thing you're mm -hmm. doing so fabulously. Um, and I, I could comment the, a little bit on that. Um, yes. Yeah, the other the other thing that we do that's different than most other services is we have a very uh, extensive customer service staff. And so they talk to customers continuously. So that because people are in a high consciousness field and we 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 talk about consciousness rather than frequency because we're using Dr. David Hawkins map of consciousness. So in this uh, love zone or the high consciousness field and the unconditional love, people tend to rise and they tend to uh, evolve and change. And so they can call the office and talk to people and they can help them with their their account and those kind of things. So it's not your typical, you sign up and you can't reach anybody. You know, I we're have there to say, all week, Saturday, Sunday, somebody is there to talk, talk to, talk to us. I have to say, I can just concur. I have had the experience when I signed up in 2017. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Just even through the test trial, there was somebody, oh, you have to drink more water and how's it going and how you're feeling? Is everything all right? And all these sort of things, um, which was really amazing that somebody really took care of me having the experience with the FLFE program, uh, I find that impressive and it gave me a lot of trust, I have to say. And then through the time, always being alerted about new programs you're doing, new investigations you're doing. We talked about before the show a little bit about the new study you just did, the um, sensitive study with the EMF sensitivities mm -hmm. and uh, Tell me a little bit about that. We all know about 5G and we all know, or most of us know how devastating it can be. And so many people buy little uh, tags for their phone, a little plates for their computer, all these little gadgets. Mm -hmm. But your system really works without being a tiny little gadget. So tell me a little bit about that sensitivity study. You have been just closing off on. And you mentioned Dr. Schwartz, Dr. Gary Schwartz. He is now our senior scientist. He's on our team. And um, so what he what he brought was his lifetime of work, really kind of bringing science and these spiritual things like uh, healing, like talking across the veil um, and, you know, the, the, continuation of consciousness after death and so forth. Um, so EMF sensitives, um, so we, Clayton, I'll pass over to Clayton how we've discovered this, but just the uh, the research itself, we went outside, we looked for people that were sensitive. We went to forums, uh, lists, groups that were, you know, really suffering, people that were really, <clears throat> there's a huge list and Dr. Schwartz, really develop that through research, like what's what are the various symptoms that people experience? And we did a, we recruited the people, we did a survey before, they went on the FLFE service, and then we did a series of, of uh, repeats of that survey. And what, what we saw was amazing. I mean, 100% of the people had a, a drop in both the frequency and the intensity of the symptoms. Um, and when you see see the chart, it it starts here, like the mat, all the symptoms added together, like you know, scale of one to ten, all of them added together. And then once the FLFE service was running for forty five days, it went down, you know, dramatically um, in the total total of all those symptoms. So we just did an N of 40, 40 people, mm -hmm. and that was a confirmation study uh, of a smaller N of ten study. Uh, and we're we're working on getting the results onto the website as we speak. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to reading on the study, specifically as so many people are distressed and some don't even know why they are so distressed and are not that aware about 5G and what it can do and still have so much anxieties and sleeplessness. 
And uh, on your website, it also shows down at the bottom what is all going for. And it's a long list and list and list <laughs> what it can help with meditation and healing and EMF mitigation, which you already offer on your services and so much more. The list goes on and on and on. So um, I have to say, I find it a really interesting May I a little bit add of what I signed up for here, why I signed up for FLFE and what it does for me. Uh, I'm a psychic medium, worked a lot with clients coming into my house, did a lot of clearing work from attachments and so on. And even today with Zoom, there are always people who, when I get, uh, open the portal between them and myself to tune into them, you know, there's an instant connection. So sometimes we are shedding something and it lurks around in the neighborhood, so to speak. Before uh, FLFE, I had set clear boundaries, but now I didn't have to do that anymore because the FLFE took care of it. Yeah, uh, It instantly lifted things up and out of the room. I didn't even have to bother with it to do a clearing between clients to constantly using frankincense or other things to clear the low vibration out that was done for me so all healers and spirit workers this is a done for you program if you want help and not want to be so exhausted and i just got chills on my arm <laughs> spirit wanted to say this is important for you guys to note i have more to say but i want to go back to you what do you found or find the most enticing about your work? Well, in, in the research, when we ask customers what they find most helpful about being in the FLFE high consciousness field, uh, the number one report is that it is easier to turn a negative thought into a positive or to get out of a negative uh, framework. And um, that speaks a lot to what you mentioned, Claudia, about, you know, we have many uh, healers in the community and um, yeah, they report almost verbatim what you've said. They, they find it easier to do the work. They find the work more effective. They find they have to do less sort of maintenance on, on clearing the um, themselves. Cause you know, when you go to a healer, you're, the intention is to release the issues and the, the, the issues, you know, hopefully they're going to go in, they're going to go to a place that can transform that energy like the earth. Typically, you know, people send it to the earth and that process, you know, doesn't always uh, go smoothly, but through the training and professionalism of different healers, they, they manage to do that. And so, um, yeah, a lot of people report uh, the ease of changing negatives into positives. And um, you recall the second and third ones, Jeff? Well, forgiveness was the other. Forgiveness was another big one. It was the other big one. And these are, you know, important spiritual tools. And um, in in this high consciousness field, it's at the unconditional love zone. People just find themselves more in love, you know, more, more love and more forgiveness. And um, that, that high high vibration or that high field just helps negative thoughts to transform much more easily. And so it's one of those fascinating things about a high consciousness field that we're just uplifted and many parts of ourselves are who what may have been suppressed or maybe a childhood trauma or something from much earlier on, those things start to come up in vibration or in consciousness uh, for healing and we see a really large increase in consciousness for um, people on the FLFV uh, service over like 90 days. Um, what are we at now, Clayton? Is it 30 points? Yeah, it's about 30. Um, well, we have this new pro we have, with the new um, beta test that Claudia's doing. It's gone up to 32 and it might go up a little bit more. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, um, talking about the field i heard you talking about the field i just wanted to clarify a little bit 
Um, when we're talking about the field, field is a quantum field, a quantum force field, which is underlying all existence. Ultimately, it's the uh, intelligent life force of love, mm. of creation, of source, mm. of God, of whatever you want to name it, the ultimate uh, origin point of all existence. And that mm. emanates a field. And this is what we're talking about, this field, this quantum field, this field of beyond this field what holds us all together as one creation mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, what you were talking about forgiveness point reminded me of the work um which consciously works with the field that's uh family constellation sessions oh yes Bert now, work. yeah yeah exactly they're focusing also work with the field and the field doesn't lie so people might <laughs> make up all sorts of stories but when they're tagging into the person's true soul energy frequency the field um then the truth comes always out mm -hmm. and you had something interesting um if i um remember you did a search or you did a research with the Emo, uh, masao emomoto mm -hmm. um, testing and the crystal came out something between love and truth right and I think that's exactly what uh, Focus Life Force Energy does, elevating to love, but also bringing authenticity and truth to the forefront, mm -hmm. which I would say is, again, good for any kind of therapist, psychotherapist, physiotherapist, anything and anyone who wants to elevate their field, not just in mm -hmm. the spiritual world, but definitely also in the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you mentioned the the how easy it is to clear or things clear by themselves. So we've we've written or what's part of the FLFE uh, service is a clearing program, uh, and it's meant for the land particularly and buildings and objects that are on the property service. So so we that's a very long list of what could cause low consciousness on a property and you know things that happen whether it's cruelty to animals, you know, wars, torture, fighting. So the more specific you are in naming and clearing those things, um, the faster it, it happens. And originally when we had FLFE, it took longer for the, for the level to come up because we hadn't cleared first. And so that was maybe eight or nine years ago, we started clearing the property first and it just clears continuously. So um you have a session it's cleared you somebody comes in and it's cleared so that uh, is constantly moving the energy into the earth and transforming it negative energy which reminds me if i uh, might interject about the clearing some of my clients are very clairvoyant mm -hmm. and i do a lot of healing work long distance onto mm -hmm. people or scan them with my abilities and then shift the energy with certain frequency uplift mm -hmm. through the spirit mind mm -hmm. connection however the client was saying focus life force energy when it turned on she felt it immediately it was like silver sparkling white light with mm -hmm. little crystalline undertones and I'm doing a divine light healing circle, by the way, tomorrow, every Wednesday right now. And what seems to be important right now for this world is exactly that frequency, white, sparkling, silver, sparkling light with a little mm. crystalline undertones. So I thought that's interesting that she saw that 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 FLFE program does exactly that. And yeah. right now we are working with different color frequencies by envisioning them, bringing them down, bringing them into the yeah. earth and sending them out to different uh, locations, similar to what you're doing, only we're doing it by person. And it seems like right now, this is so needed. This particular mm -hmm. frequency, mm -hmm. I find that fascinating. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, a lot of the... Uh... The request to divinity uh, or the information in the field, a lot of that is oriented around the theme of asking for what is in the highest and best interest of all creation for that person. And so 
But one of the uh, one of the lessons we're still learning, I I suppose, about working with divinity and all its forms is that, as Jeff said, the clearer your request, the clearer your goal, the clearer your prayer, the uh, the more likely it's going to manifest. Especially if you're doing it in the highest and best interest, well, with the intention of the highest and best interest of all. So we have had people, and I've only seen the FLF energy a few times, oddly enough. We have, we did have a lady that, uh, of course, we have thousands of stories, but the one that's coming to mind is a lady that worked at a, a building where she was being trained as a doctor, and they had to do a lot of um, dissection of of animals. It was just part of their training. They had to know how the organs and glands work, the nerves and uh, the muscle tissue and stuff. So they did some work on cadavers, but they they did some work on uh, practice operating on, on live animals. And the energy that she's she seen was a, kind of a golden lavender healing light that that manifested in the uh, in the lab. So almost like some of the light um, behind your right um, your right uh, ear there. So it does seem to have a capacity to uh, adjust to what is needed at that time in the environment. And that's something, you know, we have, I think, 13 pieces of research on our research page on our website. So we're very, you know, we're very evidence-based. And at some point when you hear enough anecdotal evidence, you can start to look for uh, how to do a study on confirming that in a way that science will embrace because when you get when you start getting you know to n40 and statistically significant numbers under controlled conditions then then you you can stand beside the data because the data is strong and integrous and that's the role that our research team plays and we have uh you know dr schwartz is probably the the leader in that regard he's very uh very rigorous. In fact, he admits to having scientitis, I think he calls it. <laughs> yeah, I uh, <laughs> remember him on a conference. He did some frequency research uh, through a conference and certain technologies were presented. He was here in Sedona uh, quite a long time ago, um, which brings me to a point. I was part of a study once where they wanted to check what is exactly the frequency when a person goes into a meditation, when a person goes into a channeling mode, what frequency level is that, what shows up in the brain frequencies, mm. what does that do? And then these people later on created also a device or a system where they then reduplicated that for mm. people just listening to it and their tones would automatically then vibrate in the brain and bring them automatically to that certain state of mind stirred or state and or link them up with the field mm -hmm. and i found mm -hmm. that a really interesting tool mm -hmm. but um okay so quantum association that's what you described it how the flfe works tell a little bit how that works is that similar to what i was just discussing what they did with me taking my uh frequency levels of the brain and then projecting that into a machine which then can be used on somebody else is that similar what you're talking about here with the quantum association no it's really it's a little different in this case um it's more akin to what you do with your clients so when you connect uh, say on a Zoom call or on a phone call, and there's that person-to-person -person connection, which humans can do. And the, the more commonplace example is you think of someone and then they call you a moment later. And so when they're dialing the phone, they're thinking of you, they're holding a unique identifier for you in their mind. There's a field activated around you. The phone rings, you pick it up, it's them, right? So we have this ability to quantumly associate with another person um, and that channel is opened and we believe there's a field consciousness field in both ends right and that's where how reiki works distant healing of all sorts you you need that unique identifier first right what is this who is this person you know how do i have a phone number do i have a photograph do i have an email address so it's just it's very much the same in FLFE and the FLFE technology is very similar in the way that that it creates this quantum association where 
a unique identifier of a an address and it only works in certain countries because the address has to be very well regulated. So in some places like, you know, deep in the country in Ireland, you know, it's all historic. It's all like the postman knows it's the third driveway on the left, right? There's nothing in the courthouse. So our technology needs that quantum association. The address has to be really well identified. So there's only certain countries where we do the, the, the right now do the uh, property service. So that quantum association, that address, coordinates, cell phone number, or an object, a photograph of an object creates that, that unique identifier, which goes into the FLFE system. And there's this quantum association, a field activates at that place. And then what we call programs are really the instructions, as Clayton said, to divinity that are written instructions that are in this system that then um, specify the level of consciousness, specify the EMF mitigation through ver lots of various things that we found, specifies, you know, that it supports the person in their evolution. It's the, you know, it's, as Clayton said, kind of the, the uh, customization that happens. So the fields activated through the unique identifier, and then the information in the field supports the person. Um, yeah, I read on your website, it's 20 program points. So when the FLFE is activated onto a person and so on, um, identifier points, as you named them, um, 20 program points are activated. You named already some. Uh, I read on your website also health. Uh, we know now about the EMF because you were just talking about your study program there. And you did specifically also or do an EMF mitigation. But um, nutrients, energizer, energization, brain optimization, that will definitely make a lot of people happy with Alzheimer's. So um, that would be also a very fascinating study because of our mm. deficit and so much going on in our environment. I find as my clients, including myself, a lot of people have a problem with Alzheimer's and that can have many, many different reasons and um, maybe do a study on that one next. Just a mm -hmm. suggestion. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah but tell us a idea. little bit more about the uh, 20 points which you put in there. Mm -hmm. Well, we have, well, we have multiple relationship programs. So um, to increase the, um, the lovingness between um you know, the parents of the family between, you know, the, the children and the parents, children to children, you know, the daughter to father, uh, you know, son to the daughter to father, daughter to mother, son to father, son to, you know, all the variables you can imagine. We have those requests in particular. And a lot of people find that um, the relationships are you know significantly improved in a high consciousness field. I mean, people have been traveling um, for as long as humans have been alive to pilgrimage sites around the world. And these pilgrimage sites, um, for a pilgrimage site to be acknowledged and sort of recognized, they tend to have to be in that unconditional love zone or higher. And then that's what, uh, and then there's a particular field, like in Lourdes, France, for example, um, their high consciousness field is oriented around water. Right, because that seems to be how it works in that space. And other places, it's for abundance, and other places for fertility. And India is um, much more known for that than North America. That's just part of their tradition. So, um, yeah, we have uh, at least twenty, and there's probably uh, quite a few that we haven't listed. Um, do you remember any off the top of your head, Jeff? Any more? Well, the the important the brain optimization is really is is a good one. Um, we did a study with IONS, Institute of Noetic Sciences, where we um, they had subjects come in and they they were doing math scores and and kind of intelligence tests, and then they we turned on the FLFE uh, field in in the lab, and they saw an increase in executive function. Um, so and an increase in um, 
uh, in brain waves in the alpha state. So kind of everything went to alpha state and the executive function increased. So yeah, what people see there is less brain fog. Mm -hmm. It kind of goes together with the EMF, but the the way this works in a program, so we we make the request of divinity. In this case, it's that that subtle energy, chi, prana, life force energy, which is present, flows into the brain where it's needed the most. So it goes to the places in the brain where the energy is lowest. So that might be because you're using that part of your brain, you know, repeatedly, you're doing a lot of intense thinking or, you know, memorization or something. So we find that kid, their kids' homework goes faster. Um, people have more mental stamina. So like the middle of the afternoon, they're still going strong. Um, so that energy, that chi prana, like going to a, um, you know, Chinese medicine practitioner where you, he he looks at your pulse and he sees where you're weak, we're asking the energy to go where you're weak or where there's less life force energy present. So that's true for um, optimization, the brain optimization. It's true for the immune support. We have an immune support yeah. program. We ask for the chi, the prana, to go to the places in the immune system that, that are lowest. And, and again, that's... Um, it's just help in the field. So, so the body, it's up to the body to decide the innate intelligence of the body is, and as it's connected to all that is and divine sources chooses, right? But that support is there and people feel that uplifting in their, their, um, you know, the immune system is a little dip, more difficult to measure because over time, do you get less sick? Um, and the brain, you can feel that right away. Sleep, we have a sleep program. And that also goes well with EMF. And people tend to have really, you know, improved sleep. In some cases, they get energized and they, that's why we have the slider. They can turn it down until they get used to the, to having more life force energy in your body. Um, we have a GI, tr GI track program. And again, we're asking for this energy to flow into the digestive system to support good bacteria, to support the uh, peristalsis, to all of the functions of the, the GI tract. Uh, we have a liver, kidney, gallbladder program that yeah. supports each of those. Uh, it's, you know, works with the uh, GI tract. So we don't, we don't make medical claims, but it's like going to a Chinese medicine practitioner and flowing extra chi to those areas. Right. Um, and I can tell you from my clients, I do a lot of medical intuitive work. And mm. lately in the last two, three weeks, there were one after another with GI problems. Mm. I all referred them to your FLFE program because I know it works because I get the feedback also from the clients. But I want to turn a little bit around again to the use, because you said something about brain and then you're just on the side talking about the use and how they benefit from being more focused and learn better. I did the same thing for my son. Mm -hmm. He had a very difficult birth and we did a lot of things so that his dyslexia disappeared and he could focus and ADD medication wasn't needed anymore. And when I um, signed up later for the FLFE and you installed the use program, I said, this is it. So I put that on his phone. I honestly have to say he doesn't know it. I asked his higher self whether it was okay and it was highly okay. So I did it without him consciously knowing it. And I found that um, not only does he do high school and college program now at the same time, and remember, this is a kid which had difficulties from the beginning, mm -hmm. but also he is less influenced by his surroundings of mm -hmm. drug use or temptations or instigator misbehavior. He's like, 
what for? <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> the higher frequency level really shows. So mama doesn't have to do anything and work there and project it onto him. <laughs> it's done for me. I love it that it's done for, I mean, every healer and every practitioner should appreciate this it's done for you thing because then we don't have to use so much of our personal life force energy to draw more and then project more but it's done for us that's the beautiful part in it and i can tell you uh thanks to you guys my son is doing really well he has a spot wow. everywhere so come on to every parent and get the youth program for your kids have you yeah. other uh, other feedback on this use program from other parents? Yeah, I would just say we 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 created the youth program to be lower cost. So it's a little lower level of consciousness. It's at 500, but really it has all the other programs. So it has the EMF mitigation. Um, and there's so much anxiety and depression in in kids these days uh learning disabilities so we've seen we haven't done a full study yet with dr schwartz but we've seen three or four really kind of profound depression changes with children uh and young adults where there was a story that a, a subscriber told us where her brother had a terrible accident and he was paralyzed from the waist down and um, in bed for months and months. I mean, just totally depressed and basically dying. And she put on the service and went to work the next day. And uh, when she came back, he was out of the bed in his wheelchair outside. Whoa, that's amazing. That's <laughs> just amazing. <laughs> and and we've had other parents talk about how their kids were withdrawn and kind of pulling away from from the social life around them and uh, not wanting to do sports or do things out. And when they put the service on, um, they saw them start to expand and join sports and go have their friends and especially have their friends over because their friends really like the way it feels. And so even without kind of knowing consciously, they're wanting to gather at their house. We see that a lot. Wonderful. Um, so what's your next project? I know you're doing already uh, a lot of further research with the EMF um, entanglements, but uh, what other do you have in store? I might say that I already tried something <laughs> out and I might show my little glass here. <laughs> and, uh, that's a little secret, not available yet, but soon because we are all um, dehydrated or most of us are dehydrated. I drink my two liter, two and a half, sometimes three liter water bottle every mm -hmm. day, um, but that's not so nice. So I used my glass for the projection. And I have to say that I need less sugar to be energized throughout mm -hmm. my day. So that's mm -hmm. a feedback. Mm -hmm. And um, I find myself more refreshed with this water i mean it's the same tap water with a little bit of tea in it and uh to have a little taste and it's easier to drink i drink more um but uh, maybe i should say i drink exactly what i need in the day maybe that's a better calculation in words and mm. uh yeah it just uh to me it's more the sugar i'm sitting all day long and i'm craving a little energy boost because i'm not moving much and of course, then that can pack on the pulse for women, right? Mm -hmm. So I noticed that was my most significant find with the water. I'm sure other people have others. As you said, you uh, let it focus on what the person needs the most. And obviously, I needed less boost through sugars and carbs. Very interesting. So thank you for doing that. And uh, by the way, if you guys want to... I'm talking now to the audience, try it out. Uh, Jeff and Clayton were so super nice to not only have 15 days free trial on a property, but also then another 15 days for the phone. 
And um, I would like you now to explain a little bit what's the difference frequency wise between, I know there's a difference, but I want to hear it from your mouth. What's the difference and why between the frequency you put on properties and the weak frequency you put on phones? Well, one of the big differences is that when you have an object, like you can have a, a necklace or you could have a ring or a coin or a phone. We call those object subscriptions. When you have one of those, you're moving around. On a property, it's obviously stationary. So on a property, we clean, we clear the negative energetic history of the land. So the history is still there, but the negative trauma is released. And we do guarantee that the uh, that the level of consciousness of the property is at the level you set on your slider 98% of the time on average over any 24 hour period, or you get it for free until we fix it. And um, we have had some properties drop below the, the level. And we've, uh, we found out that they were due to actually uh, geopathic stress zones caused by new routers in the area or EMFs. Uh, new cell towers, um, new smart meters, things like that. And what we, we ended up fixing that. And that, that's the story of how the EMF mitigation program started. But the um, one of the big differences is that the land is cleared because when you're moving, it just takes too much energy to clear the land and you're not there long enough to really maybe experience the benefits of that. So that is one of the big differences. In the mobile service, there is a... Um, it's 300 feet around you, wherever you go. So it's 600 feet um, wide, if you want to think about it that way. Um, the the Most of the programs are in the nine foot radius around you. And, and you are blessing all the people that come into that 300 foot influence ahead of you, behind you and all around you. So once you have the uh, the service on your phone, just as your son experienced, you'll find that perhaps not only he he or she is changing, but the people around them uh, maybe have a different attitude towards them because they're a a source of positive influence. Whether they you know not that they're not without it, but they're a bigger source of positive influence. So that's one of the gifts that you you give your your child when you. Uh, when you have them on the services, all the friends and those around them, including you, are are blessed by that energy. Yeah. Which reminds we- me of uh, blessings and um, gifting. You said the word gifting. And there's something you also offer. You do a lot of uh, benefit work and um, you always use projects, you call them. For example, mm-hmm. hospitals you project the uh, Everlefe onto, or certain other types of project, and you offer that also for your subscribers. Well, I used it on my parents' home because mm-hmm. they were harassed by a neighbor, mm-hmm. and lo and behold, the neighbor backed off. So mm-hmm. again, thank you very much. <laughs> that was wonderful because I'm here in the U.S. and they're in Germany, so I couldn't do much mm-hmm. about it. Sex. Mm-hmm pushing always the neighbor onto their side of the property and shut them off so to shut them up so to speak (laughs) but that wasn't necessary anymore after i did the paying it forward program so thank you thank you thank you that was really helpful well well i'm glad that's so many inventive uses for it people are using it for their kids schools for grocery stores for you know synagogues churches uh, yeah, our, our our initial use of the technology when we discovered it was service work. I mean, we we use it to raise consciousness all over the planet, and we just did it as a service. And we did that for about a year in 2012. And then we got the message to create a business where people could bless their own home, but also to give a free subscription, like you said, to pay it forward that they could bless somewhere else in the world. So that was from the very beginning of its creation. That was important to us. Um, And then, yes, we do lots of service work. I think 90 to 95% of the energy of the system 
is on service projects for the world. Um, and and the, That's amazing. You know, the rest is with customers. So, um, and the, we call them projects because we're, we're really, it takes research. Like we did um, the concentration camps in Poland and Germany. And um, so we had to find the, uh, the coordinates of each, you know, and, and create a program to uplift those and to help the souls to, 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 to be freed. And so um, those are the kind of things like, where is there a history on, on the planet that we can help clean up to benefit the people that live near there now and, and to uh, benefit the souls that, that are there. Now, um, maybe I shouldn't ask this, but do you do anything for the Ukraine right now for active war zones? Or do you not want to talk about it? That's totally fine too. I'll let you answer, Clayton. Yeah. yeah we're doing something. <laughs> we're doing something. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting when we look at there, there is a law of non-interference in the universe. Mm-hmm. Where you have the, uh, you know, you have the right to, or the authority, I suppose, uh, would be a better way to say it, to be a positive influence on the world. So, for example, if your neighbor moved into the, you know, neighborhood and you greeted them and maybe, you know, it's traditional to bring them over a meal because they're moving or something. But you can't, you know, it's not your right to go over there every night and bother them, right? It's like... It's, you know, mind your own business, live your own life and be, be kind and supportive. So when we have this pay it forward service, it's at a level of consciousness that is within the realm of non-interference, right? So it's a positive influence. It leaves the technology at 500 and um, it may not bring a property up to 500, but it is a positive influence. And we have had so many stories about people using it uh, in neighborhoods where there's difficulty and it just seems to calm the neighborhood down. Um, it does. So, yeah. <laughs> it, it's, it's really interesting. Um, so for example, with your son, you don't, we, we created that at a level of consciousness where someone can give a, give a gift without having to let the person know. Right. But if you were to put it on, on, on a home, like the full service, which is, it goes out at five, you know, it raises the level of consciousness of the property to 550. At that level, someone on the property needs to know the service is on because you do have to pay attention to the additional hydration requirements because higher consciousness fields, the body is so intelligent. It just takes that in and does its own healing, right? And you do need water to assist with that. So there are, you know, like the flagship products where we do ask that you, you know, that somebody knows that the service is on. But we have, and and we have products or services where you can just give it as a gift anonymously, and um, people still get a lot of benefit from that. So that's an interesting point that we had to discover pretty pretty early on was that, you know, there is a um, there is a consideration, and that sort of goes along the lines of what's in the highest and best interest of all what's in the highest and best interest of all is to recognize that, um, you know, your lovingness and intent, positive intent towards boundaries, uh, towards others does have boundaries. And so that's um, one of the, one of the things that we've experimented with on business as a spiritual path. So in other words, it uh, doesn't mess with destiny, but it uplifts the free will process. Well said. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So um, talking about, I know uh, Dr. Schwartz also worked a little bit with beingness on higher realms and uh, again, frequency understanding, multidimensionality, and also past life and all this sort of thing. Now I have a question and maybe that's something for way in the future, mm -hmm. but I do also past life regression and I find mm -hmm. um, you can heal past lives when you go into the coordinates of time and space to wherever it happened, mm -hmm. which the parallel aspect of the soul knows, mm -hmm. and we can go there and we can do healing work. Now it would be fascinating <laughs> to project that uh, ever energy 
to very dram dramatic moments in time and space of a person's soul to mm. uplift and heal because as we have multidimensionality and free will, we can go from here to here to a higher level in that time mm. and space. And it's a mm. totally different reality which comes out for the individual soul, maybe mm. less traumatic, maybe not tortured, maybe lesser tortured, lesser whatever, prosecuted, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I find a lot of people have been prosecuted in many different lifetimes, in case mm -hmm. you believe in lifetimes. Mm -hmm. But it has an impact here now of the quantum entanglements of lives. So mm -hmm. I'm wondering whether that would be something, let's say mm -hmm. some, a person finds out, oh my gosh, I have, this happened to me there. Mm -hmm. And it's still resonating here in the now drowning, fear of water, phobias, and such. Mm -hmm. That'd be something one <laughs> could do. Yeah, that's really interesting. Um, and I think what you're talking about is something a little bit down the road for us, but we had um, uh, Alyssa Mailhorn. I don't know if you know her. She's she's another, she's a subscriber and a, and a referral partner as well. And she did some meditations where she was, using the FLFE energy and projecting it back to places where she'd lived as a child, like, and using that to heal the, the land and maybe what was left of her in those places where there was trauma. And there's always some trauma in childhood. I think just being a child can be traumatic in some ways. Um, so, so she did that and that was very powerful for her, for her, uh, evolution. And now she did it. She, she, sat in the f Liffy energy and she projected it herself so um it might be interesting point. for you to try that to try projecting the f Liffy energy and the clearing into other places and see see I what definitely... you notice we'd love to talk to you about that yeah i definitely will try that i will make that my own little experiment to see i just this afternoon have two ladies coming and doing a past life regression here in the house and uh yeah, I will try that to see how that works. Uh, excellent idea. Never yeah, thought Alyssa's, we could Alyssa's use having good... that energy to project. I mean, I work with the field myself, but to use that frequency, you, let's say, donate or create here, uh, to use that as a beam to, you know, use it as a target zone. I've never thought about that. Thank you. That's really great. Yeah, this has had quite a bit of success with it with her clients and I've, I've done some experimenting with it and it does bring up the point of having a conscious relationship with your high con with your high consciousness field so if you have a particular like one of the ways I was using it this morning I have a bit of a rash on my leg I think I was hiking in the woods and came across some maybe some poison oak or something so I asked the FLF FLF energy to go from the technology throughout the earth and to pick up all of the necessary elements from the earth and bring them into the wave and apply them to the rash. And um, it seems to be accelerating the, um, the lessening of the irritation. So there's ways to use it uh, like that as well, Claudia, that you might want to experiment with. I definitely will. I mean, mm -hmm. even that description... Um, asking the FLFE to kind of like do a sweep for me personally to project mm -hmm. it into something uh, which I have a particularly need of is uh, not new to me because another um, service provider I'm working with does something like this, particularly scanning and doing that with their projection. But I would definitely try that with the FLFE too. That is fascinating. Absolutely. I will definitely try off today. Um, okay. So we have that in time and space and bringing in whether it's past, present, or even if we are anxious. That reminds me, we could do that for somebody who is anxious about, let's say, an interview uh, mm. at a job. Mm. They could subscribe for it and say, hey, mm. I want to have that FLFE projected onto where I am at that mm. place in that interview to bring mm. everyone to the higher level and um mm. i did it with a client with the consciousness bringing in the field into that time when she got the job but that's good too so people who are not so versed in meditation and holding a high frequency focus 
that is the way to go. Wonderful. And I think it's a, it's a high consciousness field characteristic, maybe. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you're activating high consciousness fields all the time in your work. And maybe that's a characteristic. Like there may be things in some of these uh, pilgrimage spots that we could bring into us. And that is what we do with the water bottle program that's coming that you mentioned. We are going to pilgrimage locations uh, in areas related to water where the water is very, very high consciousness or very, very high uh, appropriateness as, as water. And we're bringing that energy into the bottle. Fascinating. Wow, that gives it a whole new perspective. I do. <laughs> And the water's at 850 on the Hawkins map when you drink it. That's amazing. That's um divine awareness. That's just wonderful. All right. So what else would you like to talk about? What is important for you to put out there in the world besides all the good you're already doing, which I thank you from the bottom of my heart and for all the beings on this planet that you're doing what you're doing. But mm -hmm. is there anything you, you want to let our audience know? Well, we did talk about uh, doing an experiment, Jeff, where we would activate and, and Claudia a high consciousness field. So we could do a 700 boost now and um, leave that on for the balance of our conversation if you'd like to, to try that, Claudia. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And I thank you for all the ones who are viewing mm. today and uh, in the upcoming times. And as I understood you, you said that this boost then will continuously be felt while watching. So even though we are recording this right now, even when people are watching later, it will still be on because the target is this moment in time and space, which other will review when they are viewing the recording. Wow, that's nice. And I'm, I mean, yeah, I put it on. Yeah. So <laughs> one can feel it. Most of my clients told me that they felt it right away uh, mm -hmm. when it was turned on, right the minute. And yes, one can. <laughs> I hope you can feel it too. That said, if you feel it and seeing is believing, confirmation comes to practice, I would recommend for you to try it out free. We put links underneath we put the website underneath we put the free trials the um location trial and the phone trial on thank you thank you for letting us have the free gift and what convinced me of your true service is it's not like these other guys oh you put in your credit card information and oh you forgot to cancel it so bad for you you have to now subscribe for another ones not with you guys and that to me means you're totally authentic it's not about the money drawing it out of the people like oh yeah we're accumulating for our own women to research maybe it's really of true service try it mm. out if it works for you Mm -hmm. fine subscribe pay some mm -hmm. energy you know exchange it's mm -hmm. just money it's just energy so you put mm -hmm. so much work into it you deserve to be compensated and then again you do also so much good for the planet so who wouldn't want to do that mm -hmm. but um it's not a have to in the beginning and i really mm -hmm. really cherish that that people don't have to put their credit card in you were one of my first referral programs because of that i said these people are authentic. They're not just money mongers. So thank you for that too. Mm. Folks, take advantage. I will have the links below. Um, okay. Anything else we haven't discussed, which you would like to uh, point mm. out? Well, we touched on so many things. <laughs> That's true. Uh, and, uh, you know, I just would like to say that the, you know, what she's, you say is true. We do so much and we couldn't do this kind of level of service work without subscribers. So we really, I want to thank you, Claudia, and thank everyone that's joined us in this journey and supporting the journey together as a community is more and more important. And so we have, of course, the staff and that's a community and we talk with each other. We are, we are just launching something called FLFE Space. That will be a, uh, a, a hosted, we're hosting it. <clears throat> it's our data. It's our 
Uh, it's like a Facebook look, um, but it will be all, <clears throat> all FLFE. So it'll be a great place for people to come and talk and share stories and um, share their evolutionary, you know, experiences and tools like what you, what we came up with today, the idea that you had about, well, how can we apply it to past lives? Well, you know, let's, let's um, do some experimenting and see what happens. Sounds fantastic. Synergy is key. Authenticity is key. One on one makes three. <laughs> so, um, love that. And I love it that you offer it, that the average Joe who's not in a spiritual field can utilize it. It might be a stepping stone in the right direction for being more curious about what else is out there in, in, in between the world. And you're doing a service to the whole world. So, um, that said, I definitely will direct the energy I have at my home when I do my healing meditation circle tomorrow. I will also post that for anybody who's interested to join in. It's also always free. We have uh, a whole list of people. You can uh, make recommendations who need specific healing. We have a whole team of beings. Plus, then we will have also the FLRE to bring people to a certain level where they get as much healing as their body can take or their spirit allows. And then we also um, do a quick healing meditation according to the theme spirit tells me to do. So we will definitely employ the FLFE frequency and consciousness ele uh, elevation for that particular purpose as well. So thank mm. you, thank you, thank you for coming today, spending mm. the time and explaining mm. so much more about what your program is about. Thank you. Thank you, Claudia. It's great to be with you. Yeah. Thank you both. Have sure a great day. Doing in the world. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye bye.